Hey everyone, Adam Mitchell here from runningadojo.com and I want to welcome you to this first video lesson. Now as promised in that introduction video, I was going to show you a method that uh, we use here at our dojo to track the attendance of our students. Now the system that I'm about to introduce you to can of course be modified to suit your student base or maybe you've got a, a more a creative way of doing this. But this is the method that I have found suits uh, my dojo the best. And it's a method which most importantly engages my students so that they become an active participant in their attendance other than coming onto the dojo floor and participating in class. So what we have here, these are my students, these are all my students, this is what's called the Nafura Kake or the nameplate board. And each one of these nameplates, the Nafura, is uh, basically what I did is I'll share, you with my, share uh, my secrets with you, is these are nothing more than paint mixers. So, uh, every time I buy some paint, I go to Home Depot and I grab a fistful of paint mixers and I just, you know, keep them and sand them down, cut them, and I've got a quick little template with my drill press and I make them. And I have hundreds of them and they cost nothing to make. It's that easy. Now, when a student comes into the dojo, they come in through the uh, Gekkon and they take, their, they take their shoes off in the Genkan and then they come in and from here they find their nameplate and they simply turn it over. Now this particular nameplate is my student Matt. And what we'll do here is I've used a basic Excel template that I'm happy to share with you. It is inside the runningadojo.com page, the membership page, but a number of different templates we use. But what it does is every time Matt comes in, he turns his, he turns his nameplate over. At the end of class, when all the students who've attended class that evening leave, one of the senior students or myself will come in, we'll take the red marker, we'll put a dot on the next empty space in the line. You'll notice here that the lines run horizontally across the nameplate from left to right. Now there are, we, we, have, we test our students every eight months for their belt. Some schools might test their students every month or three months or whatever, that doesn't make a difference. But here you'll see month one through month eight. This is just how I've set it up on my Excel sheet. Each class they go through, they, once they, go, th once they uh, go through accomplished two months, they receive stripe one, stripe two, stripe three, and then their new belt. Uh, so I've got a whole system set up here, and what it does is Matt can come in and he can literally monitor where he is in his attendance. Once they get to this green line that runs vertically down the back of the nameplate on this, uh, this little diagram here, as long as they make it to that green line, that's when they're eligible for striping. So, for example, month four, if on the last or the eighth class of month four, he's here, he can test for his stripe. So, of course, every school is gonna have their own custom layout for doing this, but this is the basic, uh, th this is a summary of how it should look. Um, and it's very simple. You just use adhesive paper that you can get at any office supply store. You make your, uh, uh, an abbreviated spreadsheet. I've got you know, their yellow belt to their green belt. They test every eight months for their new belt and they can see where exactly they are, if they're falling behind, if they need to do makeup classes or schedule a private lesson with me. Now down here you'll see a barcode system. This is here from our old school when we used to actually double up our attendance. Oftentimes, my instructors on the, on the mat would use a school ledger and they'd take the attendance of every student as they were there. I would also use the nameplate board so the student had some interaction with their attendance and every day they could see where they were uh, in their curriculum. And then I would also use a Metrologic scanner, a laser scanner, and scan the barcode into the computer so that I had three methods of tracking their attendance. It's a bit overkill, but oftentimes, especially if you're a school owner that deals with a lot of parents, a lot of times questions, oh, my, my kid should be testing, he's got enough classes in. Well, I've got three different levels that I've tracked their attendance at. And if, as long as my system is correct, they you know, should all be congruent with one another. And I'm able to, you know, they, they can't really argue what the numbers say. You don't, you don't have to necessarily go to that extreme if you're not working with a larger number of students, but if you're trying to run a traditional school and you say have over 200 students at your school, then I'm definitely going to encourage you to use more than one system, but keep it basic. There's no reason to be using, in, in fact, in my dojo now, I don't even have a computer system other than for streaming my classes to my students internationally. Now, let's talk about 
uh, the layout here of the nameplate board. All the ways over to the left, I'm not sure the camera's gonna get it, but all the ways over to the left is I use a different color. This one's stained, it's a little bit darker. Uh, and basically what this does is this says what class this rung is or this row is. And we have two rows of adults, then we have, uh, th then we have juniors or teenagers, and then we have our kids. Now, the students will mature from right to left as they develop. New students are always added at the right end, and as they progress, they move up the line. When a student wants to quit, and they've fulfilled their obligations to me or they can't continue on, they have to come in here, and they literally take their nameplate off the board and they hand it to me. When they get their white belt, when they receive their white belt, which is one month after they start, once they've learned the protocol and the mannerisms at our school, they receive their new nameplate with their white belt. This means more to them, I promise you, this means more to them than any belt that they're ever gonna get. This means their name is now a physical part of the training environment and atmosphere. They are part of the dojo. And when they come over and they have to remove their name from that, I keep it and I let them know that this is never gonna become someone else's nameplate. And I've got a whole warehouse of them back there over the last 12 years. But I keep it so that one day when they do come back, this is gonna go right back up there and I'm gonna know where they left off. What I do have down here is with my attendants, I have some students at the bottom row. These are my students that I haven't seen for over a month. So once they haven't been with me for a month, I take their name off. I haven't heard communication from them. I put them down at the bottom row. Then after three months, I remove them if they have, you know, if they've been so rude as to not even communicate with me and let me know what's going on. I happen to be an instructor who, care, who cares immensely about my students' well-being. So I'm always in really uh, good communication with them. Now right here, as you can see, I have kids' classes, but the majority of my students are adults. And uh, so, but right here, say for example, if I wanted to grow one of my groups, if I had, you know, maybe a, 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 a preschooler group, and then I had a, maybe, I, I don't have this, but let's say I had a preschooler group, I had a kids' group, teenager group, uh, and then my adults. So I've got a lot more adults, so maybe my next marketing efforts are going to be to grow this group. So I got a little bit of a bar graph here. That's just one thing that I, uh, you know, that I found interesting. It gave me a, a quick visual indicator of what the, you know, where the size of my school was, and it really favors the adult population uh, because that's what I market to. So anyways, guys, this is the Nafuda Kake, the nameplate board, and I hope that this uh, video lesson serves you well. Below this video, you're going to see that there's a discussion uh, board where like I have on all my videos. Please leave some comments and questions. If you have any ideas that you want to add to this, please go ahead and do that. Let's uh, engage each other. Let's have some dialogue. I hope uh, you enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson.